In this video, we will see how to plot a complex exponential signal which is x of t equal to r a to the power minus j omega whole to the power t. Okay. Where the r to the power t will be the magnitude of this x t and the phase will be minus omega t. Okay. So this is the phase. Now, how to plot this signal? Uh, we can plot this in two ways. First, we can plot its magnitude and phase separately, which is x of t equal to r to the power t and phase is minus omega t. Then, there is another way we can plot real and imaginary part separately okay so its real part will be r to the power t cos omega t and the imaginary part will be r to the power t sin omega t with a negative sign since from Euler's identity we know that e to the power minus j omega t is equal to cos omega t minus j sin omega t now come to this part this is the code which I have written to plot this signal now in first case in first case let r equal to 0.9 okay means less than 1 then take omega equal to 2 and uh, then define t equal to 0 starting from 0 to 20 with an interval 0.1 then define the signal r to the power t into e to the power minus j omega t this is our complex exponential signal okay now next we will plot this so in first part so this part of this code will calculate the magnitude of xt and it will plot it plot the magnitude of xt so how to calculate the magnitude of a complex number on octave so this is the command abs that is absolute value of x so this will calculate the magnitude of this function x okay note that x is not a single number but it, it's a vector okay now then in this part we are calculating the phase of x and we are plotting it now we are calculating its phase by using the command angle okay so this angle will calculate the phase of x next to plot its real part and imaginary part we use the command real real of x to calculate the real part of x and imaginary inag command to calculate the imaginary part of this x and we will plot it okay so let's run this So this is the output of the program. See, since we have taken r less than 1, so this magnitude plot will be a decaying function. And this phase plot will be a linear function between minus pi to plus pi. Notice that this is in radians. Then come to this part this is the real part of xt and this is the imaginary part of xt now you can see that this is a cosine function with decaying magnitude okay its magnitude is decaying with time and this is a sine function 
inverted sign means minus sign t with decaying magnitude since r is less than 1. Now in next case let's take r greater than 1. Let me change r from 0.9 to 1.2 say. So this is number greater than 1. Now again run this. So this is the output and you can see that this is for r greater than 1 this magnitude function will be a increasing function okay and this is the phase cloud. This is the real part which is a growing, growing cosine function and this is the growing or increasing sine function. Now in third case let us change r to 1. So in the third case I am simply taking r equal to 1. Now again run this. So in this case the magnitude is 1 clearly you can see here this is the phase plot and this is the cosine function and this is the sine function with negative sign. So its magnitude will be constant since r equal to 1 ok. So We have seen in this program how to plot a complex signal. Okay, this is the code. You can try it yourself. And we have seen that we can plot a complex signal in two ways. First, either you plot its magnitude and phase, or you plot its real part and imaginary part. Okay. So we'll stop here.